Today, we're taking a deep look inside the lawyer floor plan by Cranbrook Custom Homes. This incredible custom home features four bedrooms, three full baths, two half baths, a four car garage, and over 5,000 square feet of living space. I absolutely love the dramatic mix of light and dark colors on the all brick exterior. And I can't stop looking at those arched windows and that massive eight foot wide iron door. If you fall in love after watching this tour, a carbon copy of this home can be built on your lot anywhere in Michigan for right around $1.7 million. If you're interested in building this or any other home in Metro Detroit in three days or three years, I'd absolutely love to help. I'm a full-time real estate agent in Michigan and I help a lot of people build homes. My contact information is all below. All right, without further ado, let's take a look inside. There's some heavy, heavy doors. So right when you walk in the door, you're greeted by this amazing foyer. I mean, look at this, it is huge, it's beautiful. And then right over here, you have your formal dining room. So we'll go in here in just a bit. So we can go upstairs here or right over here into the office. So I love the way this office looks. I love how it's finished out with this ceiling treatment here. So you've got these, these boards up here and then these lights all along. This is definitely my style of office. This is something that I would personally have in my house, obviously. If you've watched any of my videos, you know this is my style. And I love these doors here. So if you look right here on both sides, you have these sliding doors to sort of shut the space off and they're not glass panel doors. Like my office at home, I have glass panel doors and it's like you just hear everything, all the noises coming through. So again, right when you walk in the door, you can see directly out back here. So you have your living room here, right from the front door. So you're right from the front all the way to the back. And then right here, you have the first of two half baths. So you have one here, and then you have one by the garage. So the garage is on the far other side of the house. And you have these, this big coat closet here, it's massive. So in here, you have a beautiful living room. Look at all this space, and this fireplace is huge. Then we walk through here, and we're in your kitchen. I mean, look at this. Look at the size of this island. This island is massive. And then you have this sitting area here, so you can just be entertaining your guests. You can sit here at your kitchen. You can have a TV up here if you'd like. Oh, so nice. Well, I really like this. So this is like a whole booth situation here. So you have the formal dining room up front, but then you have this informal dining room right here, and then all this space. I mean, imagine the amount of people that you could entertain just in this space alone. You know, not including all of that over there. Look at this hood. This hood is amazing. Look at all these white fixtures. I love the beams up here. This island, oh, so nice. I also really like that you, you can see right outside to your lanai. So you have this covered lanai. You have lighting out there, you have a fan, you have a TV, and you have a built-in kitchen. Right behind your stove in the kitchen, you have your wine rack here. So it's not a wine rack, it's like a wine wall. I mean, look at this. This is amazing. You can keep so much wine in here. Way more wine than I could drink. Probably would fill it with other things aside from wine. I'm a gin guy, lots of gin in there. Here, we have the butler's pantry here. So you've got your nice little area. You can set up stuff, put some plates and things. And then we have the formal dining room. So the formal dining room, again, is right off from the front door. So you're in from the front door, dining room to your right, office to your left, butler's pantry right here, and then it's wine time. I mean, look at these appliances. Look at the size of this refrigerator. Wow. This freezer. Wow. Even these stoves, look at this. You've got like twins, well they're not twins, like one's a larger twin for sure. Have you ever seen the movie Twins with Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger? That would be like these twins. Wow. Wow. So then right here we could either go upstairs here uh, and get to the master bedroom and all the other bedrooms here or come right back here to the mudroom. So we have a mudroom here 
and another half bath and a giant pantry here. I mean, this pantry is bananas big. And then right over here, we're just back in the kitchen again. So it's kind of like a loop around. What's really cool is this, you can close this off. You can just close that off right there. It's a no go zone. And over here is that pantry I was talking about. Look how big this is. Like I'm just inside of it. And over here is the other half bath. I'm gonna turn the fan off. I kind of like this wallpaper though. This is nice. Let's travel upstairs. Go upstairs. So many stairs. It's one thing about uh, high ceilings is you have a lot of stairs. So right here, we are at the very top of the stairs. Look at those chandeliers. I mean, oh, they're huge. They're massive. So right here, you can go either one of two ways. We can go up here to the loft or over here to the first bedroom. So let's go to the first bedroom. So this is one of the kids' rooms, but it's one of my favorite rooms in the entire house because of this right here. I wish I could climb it, but they have a little plastic over here, so we can't get up there right now. But that, I think that is amazing. I think. If you could put one of those in any house, you absolutely should. And then this room actually has its own ensuite. So this is a kid's room, but it has its own full bathroom with a tub and a shower and a walk-in closet inside of here. So they can go in there, totally get ready, completely get ready. Take a shower, take a bath, get their clothes, be ready to go to school. And right outside of here, we have the loft. So you just have a few steps to go up and we'll be inside the loft. Now, what I like about this loft, or really any loft in general, is that it's just extra space for the kids. So kids or whatever, it can be a craft room or whatever you want it to be, but it's just nice to have that extra bit of space, especially if you don't have a finished basement. Um, if you do, it's just even better, but you've got a ton of light coming in here. So you just have light flooding in the room. This one's actually finished off with a full speaker surround sound system. So you've got speakers in the ceiling, you've got the TV, kids can set up for their video games or whatever and they can just come in here in the morning. So they can just pop out of their room, come right into here, do all their playing, and not messing up their room. Now, over right here, and we've got a balcony here that just goes right down to the kitchen area. And then right here is your master suite. And look at this bedroom. <laughs> this bedroom is ridiculously amazing, especially with these closets. So I'll show you these closets in just a second, but first, just take this room in a little bit. I mean, the ceilings in here are amazing. The, the curvature in them is crazy. I don't think I've seen it in any other builds. I love this. I love it, I love it, I love it. Look at this, look at this closet. You gotta come with me and check out this closet. This closet is wild, I mean, the amount of space in here is crazy. And then this island. I love when closets have an island because you set up your stuff. You like pick out your uh, outfit for the day or for the week. And then over here, we have one of the nicest bathrooms I think I've ever been in. I love these beams up here. Um, and <laughs> this shower is ridiculous. But first, let's check out this closet. So this is like the his closet. It's still a pretty good size, but it's definitely smaller than the other one. Again, back to this bathroom. This tub, look at this thing. Oh man, it's like it's made out of like a, like a piece of airplane. That's what it looks like to me, an airplane. And then this reminds me of like a phone booth. Step inside, turn into Superman, come out, whew, cape on. I joke around about this all the time, but really when people are moving up to their next home or their bigger and better home, two sinks. So you've got one here and then you have one over here um, and it just it makes for a happier marriage just all together when you have at least at least two sinks side by side but when you have them separated like this like it's it's a game changer whole other world let's go check out the other rooms so right here now you have another bedroom with a bathroom we shall see so this is the second kid's bedroom. I guess you'd call it a kid's bedroom because it's decorated like a kid's bedroom, so absolutely. And it does have a Jack and Jill set up bathroom. And what I really like about this is that you have two separate sink areas and two separate closets. And then you have a tub and toilet thing in the center. So right down here, we have the other bedroom. 
It's a pretty good size too. Like it's not small at all. And this one you have the walk-in closet over there instead of being attached directly to the bathroom like the other one. And look at this. This is enough room for a kid, right? Kid, guests, whoever. And then right here we have the other entrance to the Jack and Jill. This is Jack's or Jill's? I don't know. No, no, no. Outside of here, check this thing out. This is your upstairs laundry and they actually have two washers and two dryers in here and then you've got a, a full sink i just this thing is awesome this is ridiculously huge let me doing a laundry dance in here so again you've got your bedroom here and then you can just go downstairs right here and this just takes you right into the kitchen back into the kitchen again Again, if you'd like to build this home or any other home in Metro Detroit, Michigan, reach out. I would absolutely love to help. And if you're still looking for places to live anywhere in Metro Detroit, Michigan, check out some of the other videos and playlists on the screen right now, and I'll see you there.